Hello everyone, Jawtooth here again, and I'm in Williamstown, Kentucky right now. We got train number 123, a southbound's coming. It's got some high and wide stuff on the front of it. I've heard them on the radio talking for quite a while about all this high and wide stuff. And they're headed from Cincinnati to Chattanooga. This is the same train that Drayton uh, filmed hitting a truck down near Nemo, Tennessee. Here comes 123, southbound, son. Here she comes. It's going to be a good one. Got caterpillar stuff up on the front of the train. Wow, that DPU's working hard. That was awesome. That was a good one. That was really good. Thanks for watching, folks. That was train number 123, southbound.
with a DPU and some high and wide load stuff up on the front from Caterpillar. That was really cool. Thanks for watching. Ah, but wait, there's more. Of course there always is. After I filmed that train, I went a few miles north and I got a really fast train going through Walton, Walton, Kentucky, going southbound. It's a double stack intermodal. It's got foreign power leading it. So this is really cool. Got a great catch of the Canadian Pacific locomotive leading this one. Get the video going, son. Here we go. Here she comes. That railroad bridge goes over the CSX right there. This train's booking. Wow, that train was booking. They really picked up some speed when they went through Richwood and then coming into Walton like that. They're going southbound. Yeah, they were really booking. They had to stop and wait for another train. And once they started up again, they made sure that they weren't wasting any time. That's pretty cool. Thanks for watching everyone. That was awesome. Norfolk Southern, mile post. Two, zero, point, zero, no defects. Ah, uh, but wait, there's more! Of course, always is. Wow, it's hot. This is the first day it's gotten hot this year. And, I, and while I'm waiting for trains, I've only seen one in four hours. I found something interesting. Look at this big piece of metal right here. This thing's heavy, too. And I have no idea what this is. But this part turns. You turn this, and it moves this thing up here. It's kind of hard to do while I'm holding this camera. Does anyone know what this thing is? It was laying right next to the railroad track. So I just brought it over here so we could actually see it in the sunlight. I have no idea what that thing is. Yeah, leave a comment below if you have any clue. There it is. Probably fell off of a train. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Really appreciate your views. Please leave a comment below and rate the video. If you have time, watch another video. Every view really helps my channel. That's what pays the gas. The views keep this channel going. So watch another one if you have time. And we also had Chessie coming up. We got a great video here of Chessie. And we got a wild duck on my pond, or else a duck that came from somewhere. I don't know. It's probably from my neighbors. 
and then we've got North 50 Cat. So keep watching the video with the slideshow and watch another video if you have time. We'll see you later. Jaw two's out. Huh, what's this? What is the matter with that duck? I've never seen this duck before. Just heard a duck making a bunch of noise when I come out here to my pond. What is it doing? What in the world? I gotta see if I can figure out if that thing needs some help. What is it? Huh. Heard this duck make a bunch of racket out here on my pond, so I came out here and it's a white duck. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of research and see if it needs some help. It's doing that on purpose. I think it's trying to hide from me by putting its head under the water. I don't know. That's bizarre. Never seen a duck do that before. Maybe he's trying to eat something down there too. <laughs> That's weird. Probably came from the neighbors. They've got ducks and chickens and all kinds of animals. What do you think about that, Jesse? There it goes. She's able to swim just fine. Afraid of people. <laughs> 